Hello and welcome everyone. Informatica is the leading provider of data integration software. We are about to see why, because of concurrent workflows, Informatica claims to be one of the best provider of data integration services. In large data integration projects, it is quite obvious to source data from multiple source systems, thereby increasing the ETL load time and making the ETL process time consuming. That is when Informatica jumps in as a savior featuring concurrent workflows, using which you can run workflow as multiple instances concurrently. The question is how? You can configure a concurrent workflow in two ways. You can either allow concurrent workflows with the same instance name, which is configure one workflow instance to run multiple times, or Configure unique workflow instances to run concurrently, which is defining each workflow instance name and configure the workflow parameter file for the instance. Imagine 120 financial institutions wanting to execute all jobs in a small time frame, or a scenario where a flat file arrives on the server and a workflow is launched using the PMCMD interface. The very next minute, a similar flat file arrives on the server, which needs an immediate execution using the same workflow. That is when you can configure a concurrent workflow. We have a business requirement to load data from the source system, customer underscore layout, into a target table in the database that is stg underscore customers. We have two source flat files coming from east and west region respectively, and we need to load both the customer source files into the target table at the same time. We will see how we have to configure the workflow that will be executed concurrently. Let us see how. So we are now in the workflow manager of Informatica Power Center, and customer underscore layout underscore 20 is the workflow we are going to work with. To configure a concurrent workflow, go to the Workflows menu on the top and click on Edit. In the Edit Workflow window, you have an option to configure concurrent execution which is by default disabled. When you select the checkbox for Enabled, the button for Configure Concurrent Execution gets highlighted using which you can allow the integration services to allow concurrent run with the same instance name or concurrent run only with unique instance name. Since both the parameter files we have have unique names, I'll select the second option and click on the add button to add two instance names. I have already created the parameter files in infa underscore shared folder and customer underscore layout underscore parm1.txt and parm2.txt are the two files that we are going to work with. If you would notice, there is hardly any difference between these two files except for the source from where they are coming. The first one is for the east region coming from customer underscore east dot that and the second one is from the west region coming from customer underscore west dot that. I'll copy the location where these files are stored and I'll paste that particular location along with the parameter file name in the parameter file option. So the first instance would be for customer underscore layout underscore parm one dot txt and the second instance would be for customer underscore layout underscore parm two dot txt. Once you have entered the instance names and the parameter files, click on OK, click on apply, click on OK. Press Ctrl S on your keyboard to save the workflow that you just created. And now is the time to execute the workflow. To do that, you can right click anywhere in the blank space on your workflow designer window and select Start Workflow Advanced. This would open the advanced options for you from where you can select the integration service, which is by default selected right now. And if you want to select some particular instances, you may select clear all, select the instance you want to run. But in my case, since I want to run both the instances, I'll select all and click on OK. As soon as you click on OK, it might take a couple of seconds for the instances to be executed. 
Once the workflow is successfully executed, you will get a status message for succeeded. This is how you configure and execute concurrent workflows. In this tutorial, we learned what are concurrent workflows, how you configure one of them, and how you run them. Hope this video was helpful to all of you and you were able to gain insights into Informatica Power Center. Thank you.